This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Sony Vio SVE series laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Sony Vio SVE series laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we need to remove all sources of power, and that includes the battery. So in order to remove the battery, we flip the laptop over, and there's two levers on the, on the battery that we need to slide towards us. One unlocks it when we slide towards us, and one releases it. So once we hold the one to the right that releases the battery, we tilt the battery up, and we remove it and now the laptop is safe to work on. Okay, before we go further with this laptop computer, I want to clear up any confusion that we might have over the model number. So if we look at the label here, let's see if we can get good focus. The label says SVE151D1LL. So the procedure in this video is for all Sony laptop models that begin with SVE. There's many variations of the letters and numbers afterward, but this procedure will work for all the laptops that start with SVE. Okay, next we flip the laptop back over. And before we go any further, we're going to show you the tools that we're going to need for this job. The first one is a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the screwdriver size. We also have a PH00 electronics screwdriver for uh, smaller screws. A 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver and that's useful for prying things open. A pair of metal tweezers, and that's to remove any screws that might be stuck or to manipulate any cables. And an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife with a pointed tip, and that's so we can remove the rubber screw covers. And that's what we're going to first do. So this laptop has a frame around the screen. It's called the screen bezel. And the screen bezel is, needs to be removed to get to the screen assembly. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we have to remove four screws, two at the top and two at the bottom, and they're hiding behind some rubber covers. So the first order of business is to remove these rubber covers, and what I like to do is put them right to the side so I don't lose them. And we do this for all four of the rubber covers. Okay, this will be the third. and the fourth like so now right away i see sony uses uh, smaller screws for this so we're going to use the ph00 screwdriver to remove the four screws that are securing the screen bezel then we have one and it fell through and we'll put it here and two and for each set of screws I like to keep them in a pile and I keep the piles in the order in which they were removed so that I can keep track of which screws go where when we put the laptop back together. So we remove the fourth screw and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to snap the screen bezel off. In order to do that I like to put my fingertips on the screen side and gently lift up and out like so. And we work our way around the screen bezel. If you get stuck at a place, uh, just keep going and come back to that place later. Going all the way around, like so. And almost there, we work our bezel out. It was stuck a little bit here, but we kind of go back and forth and lift up and we work the bezel out and it does come out. Okay, the next order of business. Well, let's take a look at the screen assembly. 
Uh, this type of screen, it's secured by two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom through some metal mounting tabs. It's not the same type of screw, screen where you have the screws on the side. It's two at the top and two at the bottom. So what we're going to do next is to remove those screws. And we still use our PH00 screwdriver. One. And two. Three. Four. Like so. Okay, next, once the screws are removed, we gently start tilting this screen forward. Make sure it's nothing's getting caught in the way. And right away, we see something's getting caught, and we see that there's some, the webcam cable has attached itself to the back of the screen as some adhesive. So we gently separate the webcam cable from the screen, like so. And then we put the screen down carefully. Okay, for this type of screen, there's only one connector. It's on the bottom. And we're going to remove this connector. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the adhesive tape on top. And we can use our, either our fingernails to lift it up or the X-Acto knife. Like so. And then we're going to pull the connection back. Let me see. Actually, to make things a little bit easier, on the right side of the video cable, there's a screw that's connected to the back of the screen assembly, and it's it's a grounding cable. So we're going to remove this screw also. It's at an angle, so you have to use some pressure. And what that gives us is you can move the screen forward a little bit, and it's easier to work with the connector. So you can either choose to remove the screw or not. It's just a little bit easier if you remove that screw. And next, once we remove that, we pull the connector out like so, and it's out. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector because sometimes I see this as a source of trouble. So when you slide the connector in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's take uh, what a good take a look what a good connection looks like. Okay, pause the video right there. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection will be flush, should be flush with each other. So this is a good connection. Okay, let's keep moving. We pull out the connector one more time and we take a look at the screen. This type of screen is called a 15.6 inch LED slim screen. It's not quite the most common screen out there, but it's still fairly common. This screen is a little bit thinner than the most common screen out there. So let's take a look at the model number or part number that you're looking for. The part number that you're looking for is LP156WH3. So that's the type part number you type into your search. Okay, now we at Screen Surgeons also have this screen available. And what you get with us is a compatibility guarantee. Uh, if the screen is not compatible, we'll take the wrong one back and ship you the right one at no extra charge. We also have free email technical support. So if you get stuck at some place in the procedure, send us email and we'll help you along the way. Also, we ship from the East Coast and the West Coast, so it will, usually would take two to three days or less to get your screen uh, in the continental United States. And also, the toolkit that you see here, it comes for free with the screen. So all the same tools that I'm using in this video, it comes with the screen. And finally, if you live outside of the United States, we can ship to your country. Just go through the standard checkout procedure. To order this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. Then you fill out a short form with your laptop model and email. 
and then we'll get you the information the right link to buy the right screen online okay once you do get your new screen in connect the screen connect the connector as I showed you put the screen back in once you put the screen back in you can put the screw at the bottom back in and one trick is if you're doing screws at an angle you can use the two millimeter flathead screwdriver and sometimes that grips the screw better when you're screwing in and at an angle okay once you do that uh, snap the screen bezel back on put the four screws in and the rubber covers and that should be it okay uh, that's it once again my name is Eugene Panrikovich I'm the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com thank you very much and good luck